Hey everybody, this is Calvin Waite. I trade crypto for a living. I'm not a registered or licensed financial advisor, planner, or broker, so nothing on this channel should be uh, taken as a recommendation to buy or sell. I also trade all of these things, so I probably have a vested interest in there. Um, but there's plenty of entertainment value and lots of education, so this will be awesome. For those of you who didn't know, my uh, subscription channel is live. So look at the link in the description over at cryptoinfluencers.com and you can see how I make all of my trades and what I do and what I think about everything. This channel is for uh, more hypothetical and looking at trends and the other one is for actual trading. So you might be interested in that. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Yesterday was so busy. I couldn't, could not get away to, uh, to uh, get a video out. So um, there was some cool stuff that happened yesterday though. So we'll just talk about it all and get into it today. Um, some really cool stuff coming. I had a really neat conversation with the developers over at CryptoInfluencers.com and I have some cool stuff in the works. So probably in the next week or two, um, I'll be able to tell you guys all about it. Um, after this, I'm going to actually tell the pros what's going on and it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Bitcoin is in a very interesting place. Okay, so this chart is Bitstamp. So this is the chart I use for all of the long-term metrics. Oh, before I get too far, uh, tomorrow we're doing the live stream. So I hope everyone can join for that. It is at 12.30 Mountain Time. So um, uh, 2.30 Eastern and uh, 11.30 Pacific. Hopefully you can join. That'd be pretty fun. We're going to really get down into the weeds on uh, the monthly, yearly, and quarterly closes and talk about everything. Okay, but anyway, let's talk about the daily. Yesterday, guess what? Well, first of all, this, this particular chart is talking, this is my long-term view. And I drew this line. It was kind of the only line I drew on this chart, and it was at the exact hinge point of our FTX drop. So we dropped hard, we oscillated, and we kind of found our, our midpoint balance right on this line. And it has kind of been a decent spot because we did resist it. And then we popped through with a giant candle and didn't quite touch it, but this would be classified as support from a TA perspective. And then we came down, bounced off of it, fell below it, uh, stayed above it for a bit, and now we're below it. So now we're kind of right there. Yesterday's candle got us really close, really close. So this, this kind of tells us that we still are fluctuating. We're still kind of oscillating after the kind of the effects of this FTX drop, but that um, we're starting to get a little tighter. You can see how here, uh, so first of all, the line is at uh, about 16,700. So down here, we're about $1,000 away on the lower side. Up here, we're about $1,000 away on the upper side. And now we're like $300 on the lower side and $300, $200 on the upper side. We're starting to really taper off. So when our volatility drops, that's when we are priming for a decent move. And this entire time, I've been waiting to see if we can get above the 50 because if we can get above the 50 our breakout will be to the upside in my educated opinion <laughs> uh, the other thing is so now let's go to our kucoin um, market we had this crazy close right here right this really strong dragonfly uh, almost doji but it was it was a super awesome support candle and then we produced a bullish engulfing candle after that. So we have a couple of things in a row saying, hey, it's time to get moving. And th because of this combination of two bullish setups, um, it gave us enough strength to do what? To touch the 50. So this is, what's, this is the progress that we're making. Um, we have gone... We originally, it took us, um, yeah, 35 days to touch the 50 um, between the FTX drop and our most recent move. And then the, from the last time we touched the 50 to 
uh, touching it again, it was 11. So the time between hitting the 50 has dropped into one third. So if this is a third the time, 11 bars to touch the 50. Now, most recently, we touched the 50 on this day and we just touched it yesterday, six, so half. So we've gone, we've dropped this time frame into a third, we've dropped this time into half, and now we're just snuggling up against it. Breaking the 50 is a big deal, a very big deal. And the more often we touch it, the, the weaker it gets and the more likely we'll break above it. And the, the, more, uh, the more touches in close proximity, the higher chances. So we're, we're really snuggling up to this. Uh, the formation, it's like a cup and handle and handle. <laughs> you have a big, big wide scoop against a, a resistance point. You have a smaller scoop and then you've got a tiny one. And um, this is this is the uh, this is the type of thing we want to see if we're on the bullish um, side of this. So today we're printing off a pretty ugly candle. It's not the best. So we've got an hour and 20 minutes. This does not touch the 50. So technically, we will draw a resistance from here and see how low this resistance gets. Um, if it just so happens that this touch, that we resist off of it, and we use today's low, it's dropped 1%. So that means there could be more downside action if we stay too far away from it, but uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. I think there's a lot of reason to say that we're getting closer, not further away. <clears throat> but, you know, we're here to react. The market gives us uh, the information. We're here to react. So we need to be smart, small trades. We need to be cognizant of uh, liquidations or, um, you know, having too large of positions. We want to be exposed when the market gives us more comfort. <laughs> we have not broken out. There's nothing, there's no, there's no bullish trade here yet. Uh, we have to break above the 50 and find it as support. And then, then we start getting a little heavier. But right now we're just watching and waiting. So um, this all looks good. Things are coming along. Um, the only couple of things that I'm seeing is the 20. So we did resist the 20 here. We kind of resisted the 20 here. And when we rejected off the 50, we also rejected off the 20. So we have a couple of resistance points at the same time. But our 20 is falling fast. And um, we don't want to fully get too far away from it. If we can sneak above the 20, that'll also flip this entire thing and help us on our way. So with that information, let's actually take a look at Ethereum. We haven't talked about Ethereum for a little while. And the one thing that Ethereum is doing right is we did close above the 20 on Ethereum. So Ethereum did reject off the 50 just the same as we did before, but our 20 is much lower. And we're about to get across of the 9 and 20, and today we came back down and found the 20 as support. This is huge. This is like, this is buy signal party. Uh, the only thing we're missing is, is a close above the 50. And so Ethereum's getting there. Um, we are, I'm liking the Ethereum chart right now. Because same thing with Bitcoin. Look at these averages completely flattening out. In fact, the 200 <laughs> just moved up. <laughs> kind of, kind of crazy. <laughs> so we're, we're flattening out big time. And these, these are our rungs on the ladder. We're just waiting to cross these things. And Ethereum's building up support to do it. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if Ethereum moved first, but um, it, is, it is Bitcoin that is kind of calling the shots right now. <clears throat> so between those two, pretty interesting. So that's pretty much the, the video. The only other things that I saw is that I noticed that SRM is randomly <laughs> launching 23%. <laughs> We're, I can, I, I'm just feeling a little pressure in the alts that some of these alts are just itching to go. They've fallen and fallen and fallen and fallen and fallen. And they're becoming little trigger fingers. This, this is also why I closed all of my shorts not too long ago, about a week or two ago. I'm feeling a lot of pressure coming up from these. They're, they're all trying to approach their 20s, um, the 20 day moving average, and they're all just kind of, there's a lot of excitement building up. And you'll see it with random 
random things popping up. Uh, Venu, I think, was one that, yeah, a few days ago just launched for no reason. <laughs> of course, it couldn't sustain it. But, um, yeah, there's, there's quite a few that are uh, just really starting to get anxious, uh, anxious to, to move up. So I'm kind of feeling like everything is, it's the, the water's getting hot. We haven't boiled yet, but the water's getting hot. And uh, so this is getting, it's getting exciting. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm watching this. We are, we are still finding support on all three of our averages today. So, or all three of our lines, uh, our declining resistance is, is the most broken. So we've pulled off of that pretty good. And we're hanging on by our fingernails <laughs> over the last two, our inclining support and our, and our kind of our midpoint. But uh, if we can just hang on and move up a little higher, man, we might be done with this bear market. I am just waiting to move above this. And you can see that we're in the yellow zone because um, the 50 is, is inc increasing. Like the 50 is moving away from us. <laughs> so we have to do more work to catch up to it, <laughs> which is awesome. It's not pushing us down anymore. It's encourages, encouraging us upwards. So we're getting there. Um, we're, we just need a little bit more time. Um, this could break at any time. I mean, it could break tomorrow uh, or it could break in a week. Um, but I feel like with the increasing frequency that we're hitting the 50, it's weakening. And I don't think it'll be much more than a week. I think a week is the max. So things are about to happen this new year. And um, I'm hoping it's to the upside. <laughs> but we wait and we and we be patient and we wait for the, the, the market to come to us to tell us which way it's headed, to give us the confirmation we need, and then we can make decisions. All right, you guys, it's been fun. Um, I will try to be more regular now that the kids are in school. Today was the first day the kids are in school, so I finally had a peaceful day. <laughs> got my workout in, got some errands done. It was sweet. So great. All right. We will hopefully catch you all tomorrow. Thanks for making it to the end of my video. Uh, make sure you keep those trades small. Uh, don't force a trade. Don't get impatient. And uh, if you want to see how all this works, please come over and check me out on the subscription channel at CryptoInfluencers.com. Again, the link is in the description.